Hello my fellow wizards, and today I will be teaching you the basics of gardening. Um, I found a lot of questions online and just really wanted to show the very basics of what it takes to be a gardener. So I strongly recommend getting the Red Barn Farm, which you can see in the crown store here. Now you can buy this with gold. I strongly recommend buying it with gold because it's immensely cheaper and easier. And there's a gold cap anyways at 300,000 gold. So you're going to want to use that gold when you get it because if not, it's just going to hit the cap and you won't be able to go above it. So you might as well spend it. So I just got it with gold because I wanted to start fresh for this video. So we're going to look at our spells. Now, you'll notice that I'm a rank 8 wizard, as seen above here, but that doesn't necessarily mean I have all of the spells that come with being rank 8, because I haven't learned them yet. So, I'm an adept gardener, so some of the starter spells you'll get is small soil, medium soil, and one of the upper level ones is an enchanted large soil. I haven't gotten regular large soil yet, or the other enchanted soils, so I am a bit limited on what I can plant. So, we're gonna look at our seeds. So I have a couple of different types of seeds to show you today. So, one of the basic ones is a dandelion. So, as you see, there are rewards, challenge, likes, dislikes, and requirements. And your rank requirement, of course. So, if you are at least rank 1, you will be able to plant this spell, or this seed, sorry. So we're going to go small soil, place it wherever we like. I'm gonna click over, here's our dandelion. We're going to click it in the middle so that it lines up and plant. Okay, so now we'll see that it is a progress to young, so that means that it'll turn into a young plant after it's reached that level. So that takes time, and as the seed grows, it'll start to have needs and pests. Since it is a level 1 difficulty in growing, it's not going to have as many needs or pests as other spells. And if you'll notice, it says likes equals this house. The red barn farm counts as a like for plants, and that makes them grow better. I think that it's been decided that it's about a 15% growth, so that is quite significant if you're planting a lot or just a little, it does make a difference. So we have a dandelion right here. I recommend keeping your plants around other plants that are similar to it. So naturally I'd want to put another dandelion right next to it, but I don't currently have one in my inventory. But that's so you don't have any conflictions with dislikes. Because, as you'll notice here on the evil snow peas, the dislike is a stinkweed. So if you put a stinkweed by it, I'm not sure I have one of these in my inventory, it will grow slower, and that's not what we like to see. So then as you see, some of the seeds have smaller rewards for the challenge that it takes. I try to keep at least an equal level of challenge and rewards, but because in my opinion it's not worth a greater difficulty for a smaller reward. One of the most commonly farmed plants is couch potatoes, and that's because they can give mega snacks and some other really cool things. So really, Gardening is worth it if you want to get little pets and make your pets grow better. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and put another plant down. This is a medium plot. Evil snow peas. Challenge 3. Trying to make it kind of even. That'll work. A commonly asked question is also, do these lines count as um, plots? And they do not. 
So you still have to put down the plots. You can't just rely on the house to do it for you. So we're gonna plant these evil snow peas here. And as you'll notice, there's lots of plots in this house. So there's lots of different opportunities to plant. It's all just your personal preference. So I can take you to my other house since I'm in the process of moving my garden over to the red barn farm so that you can see what some of the other plants can look like in different stages. All right, guys, we're back and we are at my massive fantasy palace. So we're gonna look at what I have going on in my garden right now. So I got some baby carrots. They're progressing to elder. We talked about this before when we said progress to young. So once it becomes an elder, it's pretty much harvestable, but they don't typically grow if they have needs. So this is an example of needs. So it says needs music, and there's a little music note above it right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to music, flute solo, and we're going to click on the baby carrot. Gonna hear the little tune. And now that need goes away. So they're happy. Another thing to consider is sometimes when you get these upper level spells, provides music for a large area. Now what I typically do to decide whether or not it's worth the energy that it takes, because you're using your energy here with gardening. So 15 energy for this spell, right? So I want to make sure that it's covering at least five plants that need music. Because if not, you're wasting energy. Because this spell costs three energy. So if it's not at least covering what it would take to do it individually, I don't typically do it because that energy can be used for other things. So another thing to consider is things do have multiple needs at the same time. So this one needed sunlight and music. So we're going to also give it some sunlight. And you'll notice it says time until harvest. That's important because you can harvest your plants at that time. You want to make sure that you keep track of your plants during this time period so that you can harvest them. The last thing of this video that I'll be showing you is pests. So there's all kinds of different pests that can invade your plants at different times. So we want to see all the plants that we have that have pests. So this one has a lightning bugs, which is a rank 2 pest. So that means that we immediately cannot use our rank 1 spell because it will not kill the rank 2 pests. So we know that we have at least a rank 2. Looking at all, seeing if any of these talk about the pests or if it's just that one plant. Okay, and then we notice our couch potatoes also have a pest, but it's a rank 1 pest. So we know that we don't have to do the rank 1, we can just do the one that's up to rank 2. So this is called Gusty Winds. It's a rank one and two pest spell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure it covers both of the areas that contain the plants that have pests. We're gonna click over it. And this does hit all the spells within, or the plants within that radius, but it won't affect them negatively. All right, so now we have no pests and we just have needs. And then we'll have a happy garden. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.